80% of the brain is developed between birth and age five, and that's why early literacy is so important. And that's also why News 5 is committed to the If You Give a Child a Book campaign. Money raised goes toward purchasing books for students right here in Northeast Ohio. Children, many of whom may not have a single book at home. You can help out by heading to news5cleveland.com slash give a book or by scanning the QR code you see on your screen right now and giving whatever you can. With busy lives and hectic schedules, how do you make reading a priority? Home of Bass shows us how one nonprofit is using your child's doctor's visits to drive home the importance of reading. Reach Out and Read is a national nonprofit giving out more than 6 million books a year across 50 states with strong ties to right here in Cleveland. They're in school. Good job. It is a book so many of us know and love. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Want to turn a page? For five-year-old Zion Crenshaw, today, this book is a much-needed escape. It's a little thing. The little things that make people happy. And a parent like me. <laughs> Shawana Crenshaw's six children are all patients here at Metro Health. Today, she brought Zion in for his well child visit and, of course, the dreaded shots. The books in the waiting room, the books handed to him by the doctor when he leaves, all of it matters. If they're getting a shot, they're sitting there reading a book. It relaxes my children, literally. So I was glad that the books was there. They're here because of a nonprofit called Reach Out and Read, founded back in 1989 by Dr. Robert Needleman, a physician at Metro Health Medical Center thought about what if we put books in the waiting room, what would happen? And the books disappeared. So from there, they started including them into regular checkups for kids. Research finding that children's language was more developed by the time they were three years old. More than 200 doctors and nurse practitioners across nearly 40 locations in Greater Cleveland are trained in early literacy by Reach Out and Read. Books in the waiting room, exam room, stacks and stacks of books, all free to grab on your way out. Pediatrician Dr. Anna Winfield has been apart for decades, saying the improvements she sees are remarkable. Ten years ago, I would give people a book and they'd be like, oh, that's the only book I have at home. And now I give them books and they're like, oh, you have plenty of books at home, but they still need more. We know reaching kids at an early age helps with kindergarten readiness, parental engagement. It's even beneficial for maternal well-being. Research showing reading with your kids can decrease postpartum depression. Book prescriptions detailing specific reading materials can even help parents feel more at ease. I think a lot of our parents who are at higher risk for low literacy, they get nervous about reading with their kids because they're not confident in their own literacy skills and their ability to read. And if you show them what to do with the book with their kid, their eyes kind of light up. The key to reach out and read success has been rolling the importance of early literacy into these well child visits, talking about it at the same level as safe sleep and good nutrition, and partnering with doctors who are trusted by families. They're the messengers, and parents, as you know, being a mom of young children, um, you look to their advice and guidance to help you support the healthy development of your child. So right now, Reach Out and Read targets children six months to five years old during 10 well child visits. That's 10 chances to get books into the homes and into regular routines. They're hoping to start at birth as soon as they can get more funding. In Cleveland, Homa Bash, News 5. Such good stuff tomorrow on Good Morning Cleveland. Uh, we're going to meet another local doctor with a passion for literacy who took his prescription for reading outside the office as our If You Give a Child a Book campaign continues.